Hey everyone, James Clem here bringing you a triple commentary with Digital Virus, the guy who made uh, Halo and Girona, the first Halo Legacy, and later on little Timmy uh, joins the conversation. So it starts out as a dual comm and turns into a triple comm, so I hope you like it, and let me know. So here we go, let's get started. Secret rare though? Yes. Okay. Let's see, Blackluster Soldier, Blackluster Soldier, Dark Necrofear, Secret Rare, Horse Black Flame Dragon LB4, Chain uh, Burst. Uh, fucking thing what the hell what's with your Skype status being low I don't know uh let's see I'm surprised I don't have dark necrofear or even know what it is I think I know I, what dark necrofear is I I'm fucking destroyed people in this game dude I would like literally walk in and walk out with a handful of cash Buster Blader secret rare edition Buster Blader. No, but I have Buster Blader common from Yu Gi Pack. Which ah. really sucks because it's not worth it. shouldn't be common. Uh, Sebex Blessing. Never heard of him. King's Knights. Uh, yeah, I have all the Knights. Q. Um. Hey, John, we're discussing what kind of Yu Gi Oh cards we have because I decided to go through like this giant chest of dust that I had. To find them for some reason, because I found out like like three thousand years ago or some shit. James did that or whatever, and I wanted to rub it in his face because I'm an overachieving tool. Isn't that a cool story? All right, I'm gonna open up my tins and go through those. What? What the hell? This is where all my adopted cards are. Your adopted cards? In other words, retarded ones, pointless. Hey, baby dragon. What the fuck? Is that the original? Holy shit, that's the original baby dragon. What the fuck? Oh, uh, the Yujo Friendship Limited Edition Jump. Holy fucking hell, how do I still have that? You could probably sell this stuff on you, uh, eBay and make a lot of money out of it. I probably could. I could probably get a fuck ton of money out of this shit. I'm finding these cars. Like, I mean, I have the, uh,. See, my obelisk of tormentor is fucking. It's just. Holy shit, Rocket Warrior. What the fuck are you doing in here? They actually reprinted two of the god cards to make them uh, legitimate and duels now. With yeah, that's obelisk. so fucking gay. How they wouldn't allow you to use them. Or you can't use them because they're too epic. And I well, was like, well, that's why, why they made new artwork and now you can use them. So It's a difference. Well, obelisk looks kind of weirder. The Winged Dragon and Raw looks awesome with the new artwork, but they have not remade uh, Slyther yet. I don't understand why a different artwork would make a fucking difference. It looks cooler, and it looks more polished. Who cares? Just fucking play. The way I would do it, I would just be like, like, I mean, they, the minute whenever I'd go into Pulp Fiction, they'd be all like, yeah, you can't use God cards because we're like epic Jews and shit, but you can use Exodia all you want, you know, and flail your fucking meat all over the place, and you're just like, whatever, asshole. I love whenever you run into the little kids whenever you get... See, my buddies and I, we would go in groups, basically. So then we would purposely lose to one person. And one of my cousin's fucking retarded friends didn't follow through with it and beat me when I was supposed to win. So then we could get the pot and leave. Oh, you shit, original Dark Magician? What the fuck? Oh, that's the one without the, the, that's the, one with the torn up bag. What, you would bet pot on card games? No, retard. No, like the cash. <laughs> What the fuck, dude? Look at all... What the fuck? I'm finding all these fucking cards in here. Why the hell are all these, like, rare-ass cards just bundled up in shit? I also hated it whenever... Ooh, scapegoat. I hated it whenever people would, like, put rubber bands around their cards. What the fuck? Oh, I just put the Iron Knight? Thing. What the hell are you doing in here? You need to go over here. Rubber bands ruin them. That's why I put card sleeves on them. Yeah. I I usually would rock, my deck would have like the hard cases. Uh -huh. All of them? Yeah. Jesus Christ. Holy shit, that's a rare one. I'm gonna put you there. That's a Japanese limited edition. I don't really care about Japanese cards except Japanese people. What? This is my opinion. The cool part about it is that you could always ooh Yumi. I wanna oh I wonder if I have the uh, legendary fisherman. Uh, you know what's funny about that? Like a couple. Ooh, Kaiser Seahorse. What are you doing in there? Funny part about that is that uh, my 
my buddy, we actually were talking about it one day when we were kids and we were like huge fans on it. Yeah. And um, we, uh, who the fuck? And uh, we went to freaking whatever it's called. The hell, how'd you, John, how'd you know that? CK told me. What did he say? Um, I have the whole conversation. Oh, it's Timmy, the person that I met on Halo Reach when. Hang on a minute. Hang on. Wait, wait, wait. Copy and paste that in here right now. I want to see what he said. No, no, don't worry. Look, it's up. Because I know Virus will message you with a skewed slash biased perspective. Here's an unaltered version. I never said shit to anybody because I knew he would. I knew he would say that, so I didn't say anything. Is that the Halo kid that you banned? Huh? Is that the Halo kid you trolled? Oh, this is Chengis Khan, leader of uh, leader and creator of Euphoria and Films. I quit. Oh, really? Why? Why? Because he was saying, um, I was talking. I said I gave him my monthly quota, and he said, um, "Don't expect it to go up soon." And I was like, "Okay." And basically, he told me, well, I'm actually thinking about abandoning, in that, well, in other words, basically what he said was, well, disbanding or abandoning Euphorian films. In other words, firing everybody and just leaving it, end of story. And I said, well, Not you're going to happen, by the way. And I, said, no, and I was like, well, you're going to piss off a lot of people. And he's like, he's like, well, I can live with that. And I was just kind of like, okay, the only like, person in Euphorian like, films that has a contract is higher octane. So you're going to piss off a lot of other people who don't, in other words. And I was like, I'll be willing to take it over until you get back on your feet. He's like, no, I'd only leave that to Drifter. And I was like, but, and he's, but, but he's busy too. And, I was, and, and then he's like, do you have anything else important to say because I have to get back to work? He's like, you know what, go back to work. I quit. Because if you're thinking about doing this and you don't end up doing it and I quit anyways, either way, you were still thinking about it, so you'd still probably do it. So... The I this is the ironic part. When I left Damon, he said, "I hope you don't get screwed over." So, whatever. <laughs> so whatever. You didn't get screwed over. He said he brought me in a call with Spearhead, and he was like, yeah, "It's uh, it's an eighty-five percent chance that it's actually going to be disbanded." And he said he's leaning towards probably not because he doesn't want to. Like like me and Spearhead could tell that he doesn't want to. Whatever. Because it's been around for so long. I don't care. You can be part I, of my team. I went with yeah. my gut. My gut said, my gut said, do it. And I did. So, And I've always trusted my gut, and it's always gotten me places. So, I think I these Machinima teams are a waste of time. Machinima teams usually aren't a waste of time because then you get more shit. So but that's what, stuff like this always happens. So, well, only yeah. if you know what the fuck you're doing. Which, in case he, he did not know what the hell he was doing. No, he does. It's just that he has fucking, like, hardcore college, man. He's going to school to get a degree in physics, bro. I can understand it. It's just, like, his method of doing it was just so far-fetched. It's the internet. It was wrong. After reading the conversation, you did make a quick kind of decision. Like, you said it pretty quickly, like, without thinking about it. I did think about it. I didn't care, so I'm done. I'm I'm out. Plus, even though whenever I, I sent in euthanasia a month ago... And it still hasn't gone up, so I'm not waiting. Because he's been at university. Well, then you send it to Drifter, and it takes you five minutes to send it, to download it, and send it to Euphoria, to uh, uh, Machinima.com's Dropbox. Want to be part of my team? I don't know, man. I'm kind of drifting away from teams right now. Okay, just uh, like a little collaboration. Didn't you just say teams were retarded? <laughs> yes, I did. Um, what the fuck's it called? Holy I can see CK's online, so yeah, John, you're probably messaging him right now, which I could care less. <laughs> um, the hell was I about to do? I completely forgot. I'm still talking to Damon, so maybe he'll probably let me jump back in again or something. I don't know. Don't do it. I don't know, man. Do I'll probably... I want to get my own so that I don't have to deal with crap. Go independent. I... No shit, that's what I'm, you know, trying yes, to do it. That's what I said. I said last night to CK. You know he's gonna go right back to Damon. I was like, "Lol." Don't do it. Don't. Wait, do wait it. who said that? that? I said that. I said that to CK, and he's like, "Yeah, probably." Don't do it. 
Oh, and it's just funny because you just said that you wanted to. Lol. I said I'm still talking to Damon, so maybe I could probably jump back in. Don't and I was like, don't Lol. Don't mm. do uh, that that group really kind of has a bad reputation. Don't do it. That's why I just said I need to get my own contract, but for some gay ass reason they ain't hiring because they're in the cinema. No, don't pull, don't. They are hiring because that. That Frozen guy, Frosty Films, he just got a contract like a couple weeks ago. Oh, I've heard the they're hi- they're hi- Yeah, they're hiring. You just need people to recommend you. I thought vi- I thought Virus was on Machinima. I was no. part of groups so I didn't have it. Oh, okay. no. I could recommend you. Do it. Quick, I get this done because I'm How still writing people. Do you Great. send messages? What? How do you recommend people? Do you just send, like, machinima messages? It's like, oh, hey, check this guy out. It's like, oh, okay. And then they just go to the channel. Um, I'll ask. Hold on. I'll ask somebody who has recommended somebody. Okay. Hey, I got a comment. Yay. <laughs> I'm making, okay, uh, Machina Hub. I didn't like it that much. Yeah, Machina Hub is animation. stupid. Machinima Hub revive is okay. They wanted to get my stuff on there, and I said okay. And it's been about two months, and they haven't uploaded anything. So I got Machina kind of Hub pictures. really doesn't. Their opinions don't matter. <laughs> I think revive. They're, cool. they're butt hurt because of Machinima box office being non-biased and extremely truthful about rating shit. I don't like that. I'm being serious, they are, they literally, like, bitched out at us. Wait, hang on, what did they say? This is all... I thought drama was stupid, now we're bringing all the machinima drama into it. What's up with that? No, hang on, here it is. Uh, let's see, um... I don't agree with Vanquish, I agree it's shit, but you put it at the end of a review which has oh, loads of professional directors. Um, and, I was, and he's like, Fall Forever Films, So Fallen Films, Tony 92L. They're not professional direct. Okay, So Fallen Films, all they have is comedy. Tommy 292L, he basically has special effects. And Fall Forever Films, he also had, and yeah, Tommy Eagle also has comedy. Those are all comedy things. They're not mixed genres. I can write comedy, I can write action, I can write horror, I can do Ooh. narratives, I can do monologues. I can do just blatant special effects, a silent film, because I can do multiple different genres. That's why they're classified. That's why we put, we always, we, the fuck? I love it, wait, if you need help, check out our site, we have some real pros. Is that a hub? What the hell does that mean? I'm just gonna remove that freak, oh shit, I can't remove that comment. I wanna read it. So what, is Vanquish good or bad? I didn't mind it. It's terribly. It's terrible. I didn't mind it. I thought that the guy with the blue visor, I couldn't understand him, but I know the guy who made it. The voice acting was terrible. Did you watch the review on it? Uh, I don't watch, I don't like looking at reviews. Well, it's it's my, it's written, well, they're written by me. Hey, I'll be right back. Okay, bye. The voice acting and bland characters. The voice acting was abysmal with overdone voice characters. uh, I don't need to listen to it. I'm making shortbread cookies. I'm Jilly. Wait, wait, wait. This person is Captain Kurt. No, uh, sorry, I'm making Snickerdoodle. Oh, uh, I don't know. Would you like to voice act in my secret project? What's your secret, super secret project about secretness about? Um, I have a rough version on YouTube. It's missing a few voices. That's why it's like 15 minutes long. Yeah, hang on, grab it. Oh, that was you talking. I thought that was little Timmy. No, I'm gonna go help my... My mom unload groceries. I've been recording this entire conversation for the past 15 minutes. Can I upload it to YouTube? Well, people, if you're listening to this right now, you're probably watching me playing Halo Reach. This was a dual com with Digital Virus. He made uh, Halo Legacy Aragona, Aragona. And we got a special guest. Little Timmy, who is uh, who sounds identical to Digital Virus. And if you haven't noticed, Digital Virus does sound like John C.J. Graham, and that's pretty cool. So, I'll cut it out here, and uh, yeah, see you people in the next video. Bye-bye.